Hi, my name is Phil. I'm the executive chef here at Clover Food Lab. And today for one of our pizzas in uh, today's box, we're going to be doing a Korean barbecue and pineapple pizza. We're going to be using our um, nice spicy Korean barbecue sauce, which we make in house and some roasted pineapple that's been roasted with uh, Korean chili flake and um, our regular cheddar mozzarella blend. Uh, this is kind of a fun pizza. It's a little different than things that we normally do. It definitely plays on like the sweet and spicy end of the uh, flavor spectrum. Um, I know that pineapple can be a little polarizing in, uh, in the world of pizza. Um, I've always enjoyed it. You know, full disclosure, bo both uh, myself and Air were, were pretty aligned on, uh, on pineapple being delicious on pizza. Um, fight about it in the comments. Um, it's, uh, you know, if, if, if you're looking for my perspective on it, I think it adds a lot of really fun contrast. It brings um, a lot of sweetness and acid, things that contrast well with the fattiness of the cheese and uh, the sort of richness that you get from pizza crust and everything else that's going on on there. Um, obviously, we don't do ours with ham. It's really hard to find uh, vegetarian or vegan ham. Um, so for that sort of salty umami element, that's where we're relying on our uh, Korean barbecue sauce. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is this pineapple is going to come to you cored and lightly roasted with this uh, Korean chili flake on it. So I would just cut that in half and cut those in half. Just make some nice little triangles out of that. And you will probably have more pineapple here than you need, even if you love pineapple on pizza. Um, and it's, uh, it's great as leftovers. Um, if you've had our burger box, you may have seen this roasted pineapple before. Uh, it can be chopped up into a salsa that uh, one of our production managers, Sarah, is a big fan of um, as a different way to use it up. Um, you can also grill it. It's, you know, it's pretty lightly roasted, so if you wanted to uh, try taking it one step further in the flavor department, it works really well on the grill. Now, the scallions are gonna go on uh, after we've baked the pizza, but we can cut those now. So, we'll just take off the littlest bit of root there. And I like to cut these on a bias. Just look a little nicer on there. And as you get down to, uh, to the sort of white and lighter green parts, you want to try to cut that pretty thin. If you cut those too thick, they can be a little oniony on there. All right, so next we're going to go on here with our Korean barbecue sauce. This is a really tasty sauce, but it's very strong. So you probably only need to use a little bit on here. Like you definitely don't want to go as heavy as you might with a tomato sauce. If you have any of this left over afterward, it's uh, great for dipping your crusts in. Like a comically oversized spoon. <laughs> All right, and next we're gonna go on here with our 50-50 cheddar and mozzarella blend. All right, and then we're gonna go on here with our roasted pineapple. All right, there we go. So this is ready to go in the oven. Now, you'll see that this doesn't have pineapple all over it. <clears throat> you kind of want to have some pretty good gaps there, otherwise, it can be a little bit heavy on the pineapple, a little bit sweet. We're gonna bake this at 425 degrees for about 12 to 16 minutes. And then when it comes out, we'll finish it with our scallions. All right, and once your pizza comes out of the oven, you can take a little bit of your scallion, probably a little more than we need here. Just sprinkle that on top. All right, and there's our Korean barbecue sauce and pineapple pizza.
the last thing you want to hand a slice to Michelle. 